hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today hope you all are doing great good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when and where you will see seen this video so guys today's video i'll be sharing with you how i prepare this delicious nigerian fish roll keep watching don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first to know each time i upload a new video all right guys come with me to the kitchen Let's get started. In here, I have half kg of octopus flour, macra fish, baking powder, two eggs nutmeg and a pinch of salt, melted margarine, sugar and some milk. So this is all I need for this recipe. So guys in here I have some sliced onion, maggi seasoning, some salt and curry powder, ginger powder and garlic powder. So I will be using this to season my fish. So here is my fish, I'm going to be adding the ingredients to it, okay, then I will add a little bit of water, I'll cover it and allow the fish to cook. As you can see on the video, so now I'm going to be adding a little bit of water and I'll cover it to cook. So guys, before my fish will be cooking then I will start to make the dough so I just give a little hole on the dough first of all I will add all the dry ingredients I just had the baking powder a pinch of salt and the nutmeg and the sugar so I didn't add all the sugar because I don't want the ingredients to be too much so when you're making your fish roll don't um, make sure you measure the evidence because when it's too much the fish roll will just get scattered inside the oil when you're making it so here is my two eggs I'm going to whisk it a little bit with my fag then I will pour it into the flour so I'm going to pour it now then I will mix it with the flour Okay, I'm going to mix it properly. As you can see, I'm using my hand because I wash my hand properly. Okay, guys. So now it's time to add the melted butter. So I melt it again with my oven or sorry, my microwave. You can also use it like that. It's okay. So I just want it to be quick. That is why I melted it with my microwave. Okay, so now I'm going to be mixing it with the milk. But I will use it little by little. But if you don't like using milk or you don't have a milk, you can use water as well. It's still good to go. Okay, guys. So I'll be adding it little by little because I don't want it to be too soft. So now I'm going to be adding the rest of the milk. I love using milk because the taste is so different tastes so yummy when you use milk to mix it so now I just place the dough on the surface I'm going to work on it a little bit to make sure everything is well combined together as you can see on the video you can see how smooth it is okay the dough is a bit yellow because of the egg I use that is why the color is like this so now I'm going to wrap it then I'll keep it aside then allow it to sit for like 20 minutes to 25 minutes you can allow it to sit more than that time if you have time okay if you are not in the haste you can keep it to sit longer so I'll just keep this aside so here is my fish I already deboned it and scattered the fish so I'm about to fry it now here is a little bit of oil I just added a sliced onion not much then I'm going to stay to allow the onion to steam just for one minute so 
after that I'll go ahead and add my fish okay the already deboned fish I'm going to just stir fry it a little bit I'm not going to allow it to be so dry but just a little bit dry okay so I didn't have any other ingredients again because the ingredients I used in parboiling it is okay so that's why I didn't have anything the taste is just perfect so now here is my dough I'm going to be dividing the dough into a smaller part to the size that I'm going to be working on like the size I'm going to be rolling so you can see it on the video the way I am dividing them not so big okay depending on how you want your uh, fish roll to look like if you want it to be big and want it to be you know medium size okay so I just sprinkle a little bit of flour on the surface so that the dough will not stick to the surface okay now you can see the way I am rolling it is not so big because when it's so big the fish will just brown outside and it will not be well cooked inside so when you are making your dough like when you're cutting it to roll you have to be careful to the size you cut so that it won't be too big okay so now I'll be putting my fish at the edge at like the end of the, the dough I just roll okay so when you put your fish at the middle that is when you'll be eating the fish roll some part we have fish in it some part we don't have fish in it so when you put the fish at the edge so you will eat it from beginning to the end when you are eating the fish from beginning to the end you are going to be eating it with the fish okay so that is another secret that a lot of people don't know some people know it why some people they don't know it so you can see the size I just roll it into I don't want to be I don't want it to be so big sorry so that it will be well cooked inside okay so now I'll be making the second roll as you can see on the video so I'll be putting the fish as well at the edge you can see that so this is the secret for this fish roll put it at the edge so when you roll it when you start eating it you will bite the fish from start to finish okay so I'm just using a little bit of water to rub the edge so that when I'm frying it it will not open inside the oil okay so when you are doing it make sure you use a little bit of water to rub the edge so that it will be well closed and you close it at the edge the way I'm doing it okay so here is my oil I'm just using this skewer to test it if the oil is hot enough so it's hot enough I'm going to be placing it one after the other and another thing you will I'm going to be reducing my gas sorry I'm going to be reducing the heat of the gas because I don't want it to get burnt when it's not yet fried so I'll be reducing the heat so guys now I'll just go ahead and flip it over so that is what I'll be doing until the fish roll is golden brown. As you can see, guys, I am loving this fish roll. So guys, you can see how golden brown it looks. I want to quickly shout out to all my returning subscribers, both old and new. God bless you all for me for always stopping by to watch my video whenever I upload. You guys are my backbone. You guys are amazing. I don't take your love for granted. Okay, guys, without you, there will not be Mommy Max TV. So now it's golden brown. I'm just going to take it out from the oil and put it aside. Okay. So I'm going to place it aside for the oil to drip out. So guys, the fish roll is ready. You can see how beautiful it looks. So I'm going to be cutting it for you guys to see inside that it's well fried and dried. Guys, you need to test this fish roll. It's so yummy. Thank you all for watching. If you are still watching this video up to this extent and you love this video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. Turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first and the first to know each time I upload a new video. I love you all. God bless you all. But remember, God loves you more.
I will see you again on my next video. Bye bye.